Hey guys, I wanted to tell you why I wasn't making any videos uh, this past week and Monday because I had homework to do and I I kind of had time but didn't feel like if you know what I mean it's like having like school as a second job and this it's kind of a job and have to get time to do it and have other things free time and other stuff to do and that's why I didn't make a video um, last week so sorry about that today I just wanted to talk about some stories, some old ones, some new ones that I thought were interesting. Start out, I wanted to talk about Facebook Timeline. If you don't already know, it's the new profile interface that you're eventually going to get in Facebook or forced to get. In my opinion, uh, you can actually opt into it right now. I'll put a link to how you can do that. You can go and try it out. It's not really for evaluation. It's just you have to do some things so you can try it. And eventually, everyone's going to have it. So if you don't feel like doing it, you will have it eventually. But in my opinion, it's really cool. kind of brings, <laughs> in a creepy way, stalker to the next level on someone. But you shouldn't add someone as a friend if you don't if you care about what they see on your profile so unfriend anyone who you don't want seeing like everything about you or whatever and because this profiles uh, what it does timeline is it creates a little timeline of your life it says you can go down to me May 8th, 1992 when I was born all the way up to present every single post every photo every video and you've posted on Facebook from when you started and was in 2008 all the way till now and it shows every single one which to me is fascinating because it's really cool it's like oh in 2008 I was doing it all that that was cool or in 2009 I did this 2010 2011 and it makes you remember memories that you might have lost and it's a really cool feature that really adds and separates Facebook from any other social networking site Next, if you're a Firefox user, Firefox has released Firefox 7. What this is supposed to do is reduce greatly the amount of memory it used. I installed it, and it definitely has about cut in half my memory use for Firefox, uh, which is um, great for me because I, I'm not just a Firefox user, but I use Chrome and Firefox. And the reason I do is because a long time ago, Firefox used to crash on me, so it's like, I'm gonna give Chrome a shot because I, I heard it's a good browser. I've tried it before. It's like it was really fast and good, but I, I was something about even Firefox. I don't know what it was. Add-ons probably at the time because Google Chrome didn't have add-on add-ons at the time, and that's why I still wanted to use Firefox. But now I end up I'm using Chrome and Firefox pretty equally. I use like Facebook and YouTube and stuff on Chrome, and then. Um, general web browsing news, that sort of stuff, YouTube, on um, Firefox, and I like having both open. But then sometimes when you have a lot of tabs open on both, they can use a lot of memory. So it's nice that Firefox updated it to use a lot less memory. And it seems like opening like a new tab or stuff like that is snappier as well. So download that update if you haven't, or you haven't tried Firefox, try it. Another thing I wanted to talk about was the recent Apple news I'm I'm getting pretty excited about about the iPhone 5, there's talks about having two iPhones, one iPhone, iPhone 4S, iPhone 5. Now it's possible we could, they could still have an iPhone 4S, which would be a um, redesigned iPhone 4, probably fix the antenna issues, maybe the same processor, maybe a different camera, it's about the and probably the same size such as the iPhone 4, what's supposed to be is targeted the $100 price point, cheaper phone, more people can buy it. That's the point of that phone if it comes out. The real phone I'm looking forward to is the iPhone 5, dual core chip, 8 megapixel camera that works much faster than iPhone 4. Greedy games and all that such is what I'm looking forward to get. And we won't really know. It's, pro it's really already confirmed. Um, obviously, not confirmed, but the rumors are so strong. You're going to dual core processor, you're going to 8 megapixel camera. It's strong rumors, but not necessarily really confirmed that 
bigger screen. It's probably going to be an edge to edge screen. So you're not going to really have a bezel so it looks bigger. It might still be a 3.5 inch screen. It might be a 3.7 inch. But what I'm hoping is it's a 4 inch. And so we will see that. It's, def it's already been announced that it's coming. Um, being announced October 4th, so that day keep that in your books. 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific, and um, for Apple's release announcement, well, I guess you can look on Engadget or something of that matter to keep up on that for that day. One last story for today, I thought was really cool, was there, there's a new memory that's been around for a while, but now there's more news about it. It's a, called Burrow electric transistor memory. What this is is a type of memory that kind of combines a little bit of silicon plus whatever this furrow memory is made out of, and then it allows up to 99% better efficiency, which means 99% less power used. What this means is better battery life, battery life for phones, tablets, computers or just general power decrease overall in the computer, which is great. It also can boost much faster speeds and data densities in this memory. It's always nice that they're still, still inventing new technology to this. I hope this comes out sometime for more so mobile devices than a desktop. It doesn't really matter so much. But for a mobile device, it make applications open faster and the applications stay running faster. They can handle more graphics, uh, use less power, last longer, that's what I want to see in the mobile devices. I want to be able to have a phone that I could charge last a week of heavy use every single day. But I have a feeling that will never happen, maybe 10 years minimum, and that's probably with an extended battery. So we'll see if that day ever comes. If you like my video, please hit that subscribe button up above, hit the like button down below, and comment if you want, and I'll be seeing you next time, hopefully.